Hello, how's it going? Welcome to episode 54 of Get Your Shit Together. Hope you're super well. This week, as always, it's just about carrying on, continuing to show up, and uh, dealing with any hurdles that come along the way. Um, I've had a bit of a frustrating week in ways, but a pretty sweet week. Very sweet week in other ways. So, uh, enjoy. Tomorrow's much too long. I'll burn my eyes out Before I get out Hello, how's it going? It's Tuesday morning. How's it going? Um, I was at work all day yesterday. Pretty shit, to be fair, <laughs> but never mind. It's alright. Um, I might not run today. Uh, my legs feel a bit sore from football on Sunday, so I think I might just walk, which is cool. Try not to stress out about it. Hopefully I'll be able to run tomorrow. It's not like um, an injury, it's just kind of soreness, because like I say, when I play football, I just try and run around like an idiot. It never stops, so I really like to get a good workout in. Sometimes it just makes me feel a bit tender in my legs, but nothing crazy. And obviously I don't want to, I think that's the time when you're most sort of vulnerable to get injured. So I don't want to risk anything. So we'll just chill today. I've got a day off work, so it's nice to just relax. I want to play some guitar, um, work some things. Just have a good day, yeah? I'm going to my friends in a bit. It's a nice day. You know, it's all right. Anyway, I feel like I'm just sort of rambling nonsense right now, but I hope you have a good day. All right, bye. Hello, how's it going? It's Wednesday? Wednesday. Um, just about to go to work, so I'm not in the best of moods, but uh, it'll be alright. They actually rang me to see if I wanted to stay later, and I was like, no. <laughs> but never mind. Uh, yesterday I didn't run or anything, I kind of rested. My legs have been a bit sore from football. Still a bit sore, but I've been kind of stretching out a lot. And I think I'll hopefully get something in later. I might actually go on the exercise bikes. I've not been on it for a while. Just like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, see how it goes. Like I say, I don't want to stress myself out and get injured again. Uh, I know I keep banging on about injuries, but I worry like a motherfucker. I really can't help it. I overthink things still. To this day, I'm really working on it, but again, I won't be injured again. It sucks. Uh, I'm trying to hide my uniform from me here, if you didn't notice. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I really want to do at least something tonight, even if it's just a walk, just to get something in. And really, no pressure on myself, just to go with the flow, really. I feel like things are going pretty well at the minute. Um, my food, I'm not hungry or anything all the time. And I'm eating less because of weighing it. And it's really a, a cool thing to see the difference in just the couple of hundred calories extra that you didn't know you was having, uh, to see what difference that makes. And I really don't seem to miss it, to be honest. I don't feel hungry, like I just said a minute ago. So uh, it seems to be working out all right. And yeah, just kind of looking forward to later on when I finish work. All right, I'll see you then. Bye. Hello, how is it going? It's Friday. I'm just trying to walk in the woods. Don't know if you've noticed, but I've not run this week. I've been kind of annoyed to tell you but my legs uh, have been a bit sore and again as I have been saying I don't want to fuck them up so just kind of been chilling walking try not to stress about it really I mean I have been at work the last few days so uh, I haven't had super a lot of time yeah it has been frustrating but today I'm off so I'm gonna come for a nice like walk for about an hour when I get home, I'm going to do some kettlebell workout uh, and then that, I think that'll sort me out. I did some, I've been doing a lot of sit-ups and press-ups in between. Um, so I still try my best to put the work in. I really do. So I think maybe I have a slight problem with my legs that I maybe need to go to like a physio for. I don't know. Um, it's really strange because it just, it's nothing major, it just kind of, it's like a sore-ish feeling when I, um, 
when I'm just up and about, I just feel it in my quads and uh, like my calves. So uh, yeah, try not to stress about it. We'll be all right. I also got a new audio interface today. Um, so I've been messing about with that this morning. So I'm looking forward to trying to do a video of that maybe later. Um, because I got, like I said, I've been working a lot. When you work a lot, you get paid. So I thought I might as well put my money into something that will uh, help me instead of wasting it on nothing like I normally do so uh, yeah happy about that I really hope it improves my videos to be honest um, I've been working with a Mac it's super old um, it's like only just barely working still so uh, it's kind of time to sort some stuff out because it's firewire and firewire doesn't work with my PC so that's again, it's a long story. I'm sure it's very interesting to you, but basically I'm happy I've got that new audio interface and we're gonna give it a whirl in a bit. And yeah, just keep going, keep showing up and uh, we'll be all right. No stress, just uh, go with the flow and uh, at least I can still get to walk down the woods. So it's okay, all right? I'm gonna go, goodbye. Yo, how's it going? It's Friday still. I just want to show you my new interface. It's not um, nothing special to be honest, but it's just good to have like a modern one that kind of works with Windows pretty well. Um, I'm going to switch back to my face now. But yeah, it's not a super new one or anything. It's just uh, good to have one that works a bit more with modern drivers and things. Um, I did One of the reasons I bought that particular one is because you get a free copy of Cubase with it and I've never really used Cubase so I've kind of just spent a couple of hours kind of trying to figure it out work out um, just the inner workings of it because I've been using Logic for a very long time so just trying to get a feel of it um, I did like attempt to do a video but I really want to go back and learn the song properly because I want to do things right really um, I'm gonna go in there use the kettlebells now and I'm gonna go to as not Asda. I'm gonna go to the shop. I'm not gonna say the name of the shop, uh, and then I'm gonna come back. Uh, but have a bath, you know, all that stuff. Probably in a different order to what I've just said, but you know, we'll get something in. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to just using a new bit of equipment. It's like a bit exciting to me. So hopefully, some videos will come out of it. All right, I'm gonna go. Goodbye. Hello. How's it going? It's Saturday. Just at home, chilling. You know. Um, I've had a bit of an injury this week, as I've said, um, so I've been trying to take it easy. I did some kettlebells yesterday. I've been trying to do sit-ups and press-ups every day, which I have done, so still been getting working. I just didn't want to stress myself out. I feel okay. I feel like uh, this is going to sound a bit weird. Please bear with me. <laughs> but um, yesterday I did a kettlebell workout, and I kind of just did it at the spare of the moment. And I was wearing like a decent t-shirt, shall we say. Not an amazing t-shirt, but basically I didn't want to get my t-shirt sweaty. So I took my t-shirt off and did it like that. And there's a big mirror in my living room. Um, and it was just like, I don't know if you, if you feel the same way, if you've ever, if you're overweight or anything, or have been in the past. Um, really body conscious so um, I would never take my t-shirt off in a million years even if nobody was around so it's pretty mad not in a weird way I, try, I really hope I don't sound weird right now but I was just kind of doing my kettlebells looking over just thinking I've got no t-shirt on like I know I've done a few videos with no t-shirt on but I really speaks volumes of my sort of confidence these days. While I would say it's not a hundred percent, I would say we're getting closer. So um, that's a positive thing. I'm not really sure why I just told you that, but it's just good to keep yourself motivated with the benefits of things like this. I really do appreciate the hard work I've done, and I really do acknowledge the fact that I've got to keep doing it I've got to keep showing up I've got to keep pushing on to improve so when you see things little things that are better a hell of a lot better than the past it really makes it all worth it 
I've said about it being worth it before, but it really, really is. I mean, just little things. I'm not a very sort of chauvinistic person, but it is at the same time, it makes me feel good that um, I have the confidence to do something like that. So, basically what I'm saying is it's, it's um, it's keeping me going, just the benefits, like, why the hell would I want to stop when, um, as time goes by, I just feel better, and I, um, it, it's just great, <laughs> basically, is what I'm saying, um, but, yeah, that's all I wanted to say, really, and, uh, just, just keep cheering up, man, alright? Hello, how's it going? It's Sunday. I am just about to edit this vlog. Uh, I'm sorry there's not really been too much going on this week. It's just really identifying when I need to rest has been kind of the story of this week. Um, and I just I just feel I need to make a few changes and then I'll, everything will be all good again. But feeling positive to be honest. Uh, I've had a good week. Um, been at work, you know, and uh, <laughs> just, it's been, I just had a good week, and playing guitar a lot, jamming, writing songs, loving it, um, enjoying the act of doing it, while I do very much want to put more videos out, which I do promise you are coming, I also want to enjoy me just playing uh, because I'd love music and whether I do it for a living or just carry on having it as a hobby for the rest of my life I will always do it so it's really good to just play honestly because I love it I get in a zone I lose all track of time uh, and I honestly just feel very happy when I'm in that zone so really just want to do things that make me happy so that's what I'll continue to do we'll continue to come up with a new plan of action a new battle plan when things don't quite work out because there's no point in getting all serious and dwelling on it and running yourself down about it you just gotta make the appropriate change and uh, enjoy it all right bye also I forgot to say that um, I'm playing football later uh, so <laughs> I forgot to say that, but uh, that's my exercise for today, okay? Yeah, all right. Sort of continuing theme throughout this episode is me kind of just reminding myself not to stress and worry about things. Uh, I'm sorry if that becomes kind of annoying to hear over and over again, but I really do have struggles with that kind of thing. And just the difference in my general attitude to dealing with those kind of problems, while they still are, problems is uh, vastly different from the past. The constant reminding of it makes me really make an effort in my head to change and I feel it's uh, working in a way. It's getting easier to deal with the problems that I face. I think I really need to take a look at perhaps not running as much. Um, it's not really what I want to say to you. It's not really what I want to do because I love running uh, but it just seems it's be causing a few problems. I want to go to maybe a physio, sort my legs out a little bit. But um, another thing I want to do is buy a bike and start going on bike rides for like a little less impact. So we'll see. I still want to run uh, the 10k that I'm doing next weekend. I still really want to do that because it's a big sort of goal of mine uh, that I've been saying I'll do for a long time. So I know that I can do it. I have run further about eight or nine times I've, I'm very much confident in myself that I will be able to do it so I want to I want to just do it and I'm not telling you that I'm never going to run again I am going to just maybe do it one week and then bike the other week or something along those lines but I really just trying to be patient and uh, find my way to find the best sort of routine that will work for me and I'm not really in a rush to do that. I'm not in a competition with anybody. I'm not racing anymore so much because not that all the hard work's done, but a lot of the initial 
uh, changes that I need to make have been made. So it's just steadily improving now, not getting stressed because I think that will only set me back in the end. So I just taking my time, not stressing, going with the flow and just enjoying it to be honest. I think although the results are amazing, um, the process is also amazing too. So I really embrace that. I really embrace the struggle that it brings upon me. And I, I honestly think it's very, very good for me mentally. So uh, we're just going to keep showing up, all right? Thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate you. I will see you next Monday at 7 p.m. Peace. Oh, yeah.